Thanks God for you. It, it just switched on. Captain Rhodes, Cipra, please. The automatic release protocols aren't working. I I'm wedged between the trolley and the rail. Can you see a way to get me out? Um. Negative. It's trapped beneath the cowl. The access cover. If you cut through the bolts, we can get a look inside. If you cut through the panel, I can pull myself through. I'm not detected. Proximity alert. Jack? The pulse knocked out my cutting tool. Jack! Rebooting. Look! The anomaly is changing. What the hell? Jack, have you seen? Whoa. Shit! Cutting tool back online. Incoming, Live. Jack! Cut the panel! Olivia, everything is going to be... That's it! You got it! Yikes. Come on. Yikes. Oh man, that was intense. Liv? Liv, do you copy? Are you alright? Hera, locate Captain Rhodes. Nothing. Huh. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Because I'm able to reboot and respawn, but not her. Hollow table. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Hera. Good morning, Echo One. It is encouraging to see you have finally recovered. Hera, what happened? Where is Liv? Station has suffered extensive structural damage from the debris field. My program was forced into hibernation mode shortly after Captain Rhodes' departure. Departure? Where did she go? Captain Rhodes did not specify a destination. However, the captain did prepare an emergency beacon. You will find it nearby. Emergency beacon. Got it. I'll have a look. Could this be it? Yep. Mayday, Mayday. Titan Command, if you're out there, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a debris storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. Honestly, it, it's a miracle I'm alive. I'd never have made it if Jack hadn't cut me free. But he... He won't reboot. He's gone. I can't stay here. Main power's offline, we've lost atmosphere. Radiation levels are climbing fast. I've no choice but to take my chances aboard the unknown vessel. It's a long shot, but if there's any hope I might be able to survive on that ship, I have to try. Titan Command, if you're receiving. Hell, if, if anyone's receiving. Come find me. Hera, are there any Fury transports still operational? Affirmative. Reroute the nearest transport to the station airlock. I'm going to find Liv. Hera, open the activation bay doors. Echo One, I am obligated to inform you that leaving the station is a violation of Atlas Protocol. The captain's safety is my highest priority, is it not? Affirmative. The captain is in danger. It is my responsibility to help her. Now please, open the doors. Hera, can you locate Liv's transport? Negative. Sensor network offline. What if I were to repair one of the satellites? Affirmative. A single sensor pulse from one of the satellites would likely be sufficient. Then that is our first stop. Alright. More repairs. Holy cow. Hera, I have a visual on the Fury. Is it ready to launch? Negative. Detecting hazardous levels of radiation. 
Fury controls are currently locked in accordance with Atlas protocols. Please activate the transport's radiation dampener before departure. Okay, here it is. Dampening field activated. Acknowledged. Long range sensor satellite located. Plotting course. All right, let's go find our captain. All right, you stop. Let's go. Select your destination. Destination, sensor satellite A2. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. That ship is massive. Wow. And she's on board somewhere. Huh. Hera, status report. Repairs to satellite must be completed before long-range sensors can be restored. Understood. Hera, what are these unusual growths covering the satellite? Unknown. Recommend further investigation. Agreed. Begin new log entry. Acknowledged. Unknown stuff. I'll need to get closer to examine it. Scan data received. Stand by. Amino organic compound. Intact peptide bond. Minimal cellular activity. Preliminary analysis. Dormant biopolymer. Origin unknown. Hmm. Doesn't seem dangerous. It does not appear to have survived the vacuum. Recommend performing a visual examination. Visual? Okay. Commencing visual assessment. Substance possesses an uneven surface and visible diversity, suggesting it is likely organic in nature. Its sudden emergence in our ecosystem, a fibrous texture, it does not appear to damage my exoskeleton. Echo 1. Advise you refrain from haphazardly touching the unidentified substance. Well, too late now. Recommend completing a threat assessment. Advise you establish physical contact with the substance. Advise using your reactive cutter to acquire a sample. Strange. Hera, did you see that? The substance appears to have been provoked by my reactive cutter. Acknowledged. Logging interaction. Unfortunately, this means I won't be able to procure a sample. Investigation complete. Logging all observations of the biomass under the heading Unknown Biological Threat. Very well. Let's see if I can get this satellite operational. Okay, we got a marker there. We got a marker there. What's over here? Maintenance hatch. Hera, I've located the maintenance hatch. Acknowledged. Okay. <laughs> Access. Okay. Gonna need a battery. Battery socket, right. Okay, um, does the Fury still have a spare battery? It appears so. Give me that. <laughs> Getting a little off course here. Break. Shields at 95%. Yeah, I left the left the safe zone. Oh, it's it's responding to me. <laughs> I'll need a power cell. Battery locked in. Hera, the power is waking up the biomass. Advise caution. Now to switch the power controls to battery backup. Wow, it's all it's all lighting up here. Um okay. This panel is sealed on deployment. I'll need to cut it open to access the power flow controls. Pull the switch. That did it. The satellite is now fully operational. Hera, please begin a long-range sensor sweep looking for any Fury transports. Acknowledged. 
Echo 1. Long-range scanners have located Captain Rhodes' Fury Transport. Signal originates from within the unknown vessel. Understood. Plot a course. Acknowledged. Fury Transport ready to depart. Let's go. Oops. <laughs> Clumsy. Select your destination. Wow, that thing is so big. I'm coming, Rhodes. Destination, Fury Transport FR-103. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Hera, take us along the starboard side of the vessel. Begin scanning the hull for distinguishing features or markings. Acknowledged. What's it going to be like on this ship? Be advised. Reducing speed. What is it? Possible visual markings identified on hull. Hold here. I'd like to get a closer look with the Fury's spotlight. Is that the other Fury right there? Okay, with the Fury spotlight. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Hera, could this be some form of writing system? Cross-referencing against all known written communication systems in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. No matches found. Assemble a table for lexical analysis. We need to keep moving. Acknowledged. Re-engaging thrusters on your input. Select your destination. Um, nope, I was wrong. That is not the other fury. <laughs> Just debris. Warning, obstruction ahead. Searching for alternate route. Dead end. I can use the Fury Spotlight to help Hera find a clear path. There, that passage looks clear. Hera, can you confirm? Affirmative. Plotting new course. Plotted. Signal when ready to proceed. I'm ready. Let's do it. Select your destination. Proximity alert. Brace for collision. Didn't give me a lot of warning there. <laughs> okay. Gotta be close, right? Hera, 
Give me an analysis of this vessel's design, layout, construction, anything that might help to determine its origin. Affirmative. Stand by. The vessel's overall configuration is unfamiliar to Atlas databanks. Hera. Hera, do you copy? The ship must be interfering with our comms. Figures. Live signal is coming from somewhere in the vicinity. I should investigate the area. All right. Time to get to business. Yeah, investigate the Fury and the area. Do it all. Finally getting down to business. The vessel is highly irradiated. Liv's transport must have had a radiation dampener. I may be able to reactivate it. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa! <laughs> that really freaked out. Okay. That should protect me from the radiation. Liv must have used this to find a way inside. And scan you. To anyone receiving this message, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. I'm alive. At least for the time being. Kronos uh, 2's ability to sustain life has been compromised, and uh, well, I've been left with little choice but to seek refuge aboard this. this. unknown vessel. If you're receiving this Titan command, please send help as soon as you can. The area is heavily irradiated and. Oh shit. I can't stay here. Uh, maybe I can get inside. Right, Captain Rhodes signing out. Unknown. An airlock, but it appears to be offline. This airlock appears to be intact. It might be functional, but it doesn't seem to be powered. Control panel. Okay, it's lacking power. And uh, our batteries won't go in there. So, this airlock needs power. Where can I find power for that? Hmm. Oh, here's a place. Here's something. Airlock damaged. This airlock is damaged beyond repair. I'll need to find another way in. Huh, okay. Another way in. Oh, okay. With the amount of biomass in the area, it seems likely that this vessel is the source. This is something. The hull here is compromised. I may be able to cut my way in. Alright, now we're talking. You know, it's interesting, the way that... Echo 1 is commenting on things that I find... This is almost turning into a classic point-and-click adventure game. Almost like a King's Quest... You know, find item, get commentary, find item, get commentary. It's cool that way. Alright, that's broken through... Can I... get through this? It seems small. Oh, alright, cool. This looks like some kind of maintenance conduit. I may be able to restore power to this section of the ship from here. Cool. This looks like an auxiliary power supply, but the biomass has rendered it inoperable. Power cell socket and power cell. Okay, so this has goop on it. We gotta find something like this that's clean. And I got a battery now. 
An ionized fluid reservoir. Charged contact point. Just as I suspected. Yeah, here's a second one. Did I miss another one in here? Don't want to pass it up. I don't think so. Okay. Now we got two. Oops. <laughs> and anything in here? This seems like a path to go in. Aha, yeah. All right. Just how I hoped. An auxiliary power supply. Offline, but undamaged. Oh, come back. <laughs> come back, battery. Power cell installed. Now to replace the rest. Looks like the airlock is powering on. If it's functional, that's my way inside. Okay. So now we... Go back that away. Let's uh, cut our way out. now have power, but I am unfamiliar with its holographic interface. Holographic controls. Intriguing. Fascinating. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. This is like a, like a padlock, sort of. Okay, just kind of fumbled my way through that. <laughs> if Liv came this way, she may still be in range of my personal communicator. Liv, do you copy? Olivia, are you there? Still jammed. No choice but to follow her trail for now. Yeah, it seems like you line it up and then you push it. I think. The cabin is pressurized, but the air is reading unbreathable. Could it be the biomass? The data displayed here does not match any code or language listed in my database. This is similar to the emergency junctions on the Kronos. I may be able to redirect the power flow, but I'll need to cut this cover off first. Make it so. Oh, and then... Okay. Which way do we... Okay, that will power that up. Can I power the left thing? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, forward. Now it's this. It looks like I can access the ship's infrastructure from here. Oops. from here. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Not sure what you mean by that. This is still powered off, so... Huh. Do I need to change this? A large compartment, roughly humanoid in shape. This could be a staging area of some sort. 
Hmm. Okay, now it's showing me where all the EVA pods are. Yeah, I guess I have to do that center thing, but I couldn't quite... Vent controls... But it's not powered up here. Why is that? Yeah, what am I missing here? Ah, here's something. Okay, okay. This device is holding an electric charge and is linked to nearby equipment. Probably a capacitor of some kind. I'm detecting a charge from this device that's similar to the Kronos 2 induction panels. Perhaps I can use it to recharge. I'm able to draw power from this. I can use it to replenish my radiation shield if necessary. Cool, okay. That is definitely good to know, but... Not exactly what I'm after. Yeah, why is the vent controls not powered up? No. Jeez, holy crap. Contact with the biomass. I should avoid active material. Wow, that really startled me. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with that sentiment. Let's avoid direct contact with the stuff. Do I need to do the screen first? Like, why can't I? I can't seem to power anything with this. Oh, do I need to... Oh, there we go. Aim at it, and then you engage it by bringing it back. Okay. Finally, here we go. There we go. Those spores could be what's contaminating the air supply. These spores detonate on contact. They would deplete my radiation shield in short order if I don't avoid them. Yeah, those things really hurt. This is getting tricky. Okay, back to getting juiced up here. All right. Yeah, this is this is such a cool adventure. Like exploring this ship is just so full of mystery. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm digging it. Okay, how can I avoid... Widespread biocontamination. I should be careful. Okay, another health station here. Which is good, because there's a lot of blobs. Um... This way, I suppose. Over there went dormant when the power failed. It seems to be tied directly to the vessel's power grid. Okay. This bulkhead is sealed. Maybe I can cut through to reach the locking mechanism. But now what? <laughs> there, oh, okay. Locking mechanism released. Now to pry the door open. Now to pry the door open. All right, 
cool. Whoa, there's a <laughs> there's a lot in here. Can I shoot them down? No, that's not gonna work. The spore detonated on contact with my cutter. Maybe I can clear some of the contamination. I figured something out. I'm so proud. Here we go. Trying to lock onto that thing. Something's pierced the hull. This appears to be releasing spores into the air supply. A bioweapon, perhaps. Wow, this is uh, kind of claustrophobic here. <laughs> Definitely tight quarters. Okay. And perhaps this way? I can re enter the main cabin from here. Alright. Great. Excellent. Cool. Uh, here's the thing. Induction panel. Warheads. Curious. These warheads don't match anything in my database. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm good on health. Warheads. Oh! What is that? Strange. Indeed. I agree with that analysis. Okay, I've got a marker there. But, um, I'm getting hurt. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Right, I forgot I can scan to look for safe radiation. Or, no, <laughs> there's no such thing as safe radiation, but less radiation. Okay, not close enough. What, can I go here? 25, 19, yeah, that's good, right? Okay, unknown. High velocity magnetic rail. The impact from a weapon like this would be immense. Oh, that's a gun? Magnetic rail. That's one huge gun. Okay, 142, that's really hot. Really hot. Where can I go that is not irradiated? Unknown. Electrical relay armature. The weapon's loading mechanism. Armature. Yeah, that whole thing is... That whole thing is hot. Let's heal up here, and maybe let's just beeline it across. Get through the weapon to the other side, and hopefully it's safe over there. Yeah, let's just go for it. YOLO! This area is highly irradiated. My scanner might help me find a safe path across. One of the doors here must still have power. Here we go, health station, perfect. Okay. Safe zone, great. And, oops. Is this an okay place to be? Yeah, this is all right. So, looking for a door. No. 
Another health station. Oh, here's a door. Cool, okay. That wasn't so bad. Oops. <laughs> Bonk. Alright, here we go. Great. Radiation levels falling. The warheads here must be unarmed. Great. These warheads seem kind of man-made. Strange they would be on such an alien ship. Uh, what's this here? Uh, nothing. That's empty. Go to this thingy here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, neat. It's a button. <laughs> Shiny button. Let's close it behind us. Seal it up. That's nothing. Alright, what have we here? Oh, I see a bouncy... Bouncy blob. Another green button. A lot of blobs. Whoa! <laughs> Almost got me there. Power junction. Right, this is... Right, 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 okay. I <laughs> already forgot how to get through this. Free this up. Turn off my gun. Torpedo. Okay, we'll just... Bring this forward. Activate. Whoa. Okay. Someone weaponized these blobs and attacked this ship with the blobs. Almost like those Head crab dispensers in Half-Life 2. Someone attacked this ship. And that's why there's all this biomass. That's my guess anyway. Okay, I powered this on, but to, oh, new objective. Liv left a beacon along her path. It may contain a message. Reach the emergency beacon. Yes, let's get to it. Oh, it's behind glass. <laughs> How do I get around this glass? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, blue power down the middle. Oh, I didn't see this up here. Okay. There, I see now. Yeah, okay. 
Oops. <laughs> Avoid that blob. Here we go. It's cutting time. The cysts appear to react to external energy sources, just like the biomass. Only the reaction is much more hostile. I'll need to steer clear of that. Okay, there's a lot more. Okay, so... Do we go right or left? I'm guessing we go this way? Oops. Oh boy, look up. Let's just, uh, go for it. As fast as we can. Stop. Go. Stop, go. Um... This is new. Let's try getting in here. Health station, beautiful. Could definitely use this. Yes. Beautiful. A welcome sight. And, um... Oh! Okay. This is definitely new. Wow. Beacons that way. But this is definitely a big and interesting place. Nothing to scan right now. Unknown. I can't. Oh, but I can't comment it. Can I scan it? That's the gun. Yeah. Not helpful. What have we here? Echo unit prototype android. Obsolete design. Designation Jack. How interesting. My firewall has classified you as malicious code. Identify yourself. I am called Apollo, tactical AI construct on the Astraea. You're on board my ship. I mean you no harm. In fact, I need your help. Sorry, there's someone I need to find. So I surmised. Curious. Prospecting robots don't perform search and rescue functions. But then, they don't have names either. I would propose a bargain. You help me repair my cortex, and I'll help you find who you're looking for. You've already invaded my core systems. Why should I trust you? The nature of the repairs will require you to access my essential systems. A significant risk on my part. Consider it a trust-building exercise. I understand what I'm asking is difficult, but neither of us has the time for careful considerations. I suggest you decide quickly. You know where to find me. Okay. Apollo, huh? But I haven't found Liv's beacon yet. I'm unsure if I missed the opportunity 
to find her beacon, or if that just comes later. Let's try one more time to find her beacon. And if I just can't find it, then maybe it's not meant to be right now. Oh, this got sealed up. <laughs> okay, I guess we blew our chance for that. So, let's close that out. And uh, yeah, we gotta help this guy now. Where do I start? Where do I start? My heat sinks are depleted. They must be refilled from the coolant reservoir. You can access the heat sinks from the maintenance consoles. Refill mainframe coolant. Okay, really close. <laughs> Raising heat sinks, the neighboring controls actuate the coolant valve. Use it to refill both heat sinks. Oh, I'm controlling that thing. Okay. Now down. There we go. Good. The process is working. Coolant transfer in progress. All right, now to the right one. Oh, <laughs> I was a little shy of that. Okay, there we go. Transfer complete. Now, return the heat sinks to their enclosures. Operating at diminished capacity since we came under fire. You have no idea how good that feels. <laughs> what did happen here? We were attacked by an enemy cruiser. They deployed some sort of biological agent I haven't previously encountered. The resulting damage was catastrophic. The power surge damaged part of my neural processing net. You'll need to enter my cortex below and repair the damaged cores. Who attacked you? Tactical data on the conflict is restricted. I'm unable to share that information. Terminal controls. But it's not powered up. Okay, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, okay. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I'm hitting glass. Um, okay, I need to get below the glass somehow. That's glass too. How do I get down there? Hmm. There we go. Parts of my cortex have experienced damage. I will attempt to identify the malfunctioning cores. New objective. Okay. This looks like an electronic interface. You can use your scanner to upload to the rewrite terminal. Okay, I'm missing... I'm missing something that goes in there.
Yeah, I need, like, batteries. Oh, okay. Here's one. Damaged core acquired. I can repair the logic circuits using the rewrite terminals on the center column. Bring the core there. I see. Go here to repair. Logic core in place. Scan the I.O. port to transmit the necessary data. Upload complete. Rewriting logic core protocols. Firmware instructions reset. Please seat the core back into my cortex. Logic core repairs completed. Establishing new connection. Keep going. What sort of ship is this? I have no record of a spacecraft so heavily armed. I'm sorry, Jack. The Astraea's tactical specifications are restricted. Patching neural net. Uplink successful. Restoring logic connections. There are more damaged cores. We'll need to replace them all before I can bring my systems back online. What function do you serve aboard the Astraea? I am in charge of tactical advisory, targeting, and fire control systems. I am also in charge of managing emergency situations. Okay, back you go. After I do all this, Apollo's gonna owe me big time. Uh, this is empty. I need to find another damaged one. Hmm. We need to repair all my damaged logic cores before I can bring my systems back online. There we go. Yeah, Apollo. I'm waiting for you to highlight the damaged cores. Okay, this is empty. Here we go. This one is available. Okay. Back you go. Oops. <laughs> Core linkage is restored. Half of my cortex is back within established parameters. Your ship arrived at great speed. How do you maneuver a vessel of this size? The Astraea utilizes a Category 3 Casimir faster than light propulsion system powered by spatial dilation. The size of the craft is irrelevant. Faster than light travel is currently impossible. On the contrary. A vessel of this size would be impractical without FTL propulsion. Hmm. FTL drives. You know, between the name Apollo and the FTL drive, I'm getting serious Battlestar Galactica vibes here. There's one! Okay, I didn't see it before. Okay, so in addition to repairing some, we need to find loose ones. I get it now. Okay. Nearly there. The final core should bring all my systems back online. Tell me about your ship's origins. I'm unable to share relevant military data with a civilian model. Ouch. So sorry I'm not good enough for the military. Okay, got you. Here we go. Excellent work. All logic faults have been resolved. Thank you, Jack. I admit, I had my doubts that a prospecting model could perform such a procedure. Return to the main terminal above. You should be able to fully restore my systems. Boy, Apollo is condescending, man. <laughs> Jeez.
Oh, cute. Core functions online. Testing neural network connections. All systems optimal. Now, to locate my crew. Your crew? That wasn't our arrangement, Apollo. You're supposed to help me find Liv. You misunderstand me, Jack. To locate your friend, I'll need to connect to the ship's diagnostic systems. That will require an officer's command codes. Your goals and my goals align. I restored power to the exit. In emergency situations, all essential personnel are evacuated to a command bunker. We should seek them there. Revive Apollo's crew. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!